Okay, I just wanted to cover the Apple Classroom app and uh, how teachers can use it to manage their classrooms. Uh, so to begin, the big iPad is the teacher iPad and the little iPad is the student iPad. So to begin, the teacher will go into the Classroom app. From here, they will see a list of all of their classrooms. That's pulled up um, by our SIS uh, as well as their student roster. So they'll just select the class that they want to manage. And when the student's iPad has Bluetooth enabled, you'll see it on the screen. Uh, the little circle will turn to a color. I only have one iPad in this demonstration, so we only see one iPad showing up right now. So there's several interesting things that we can do um, that I think that will really help teachers out a lot. First one, I think, is being able to view the screen. I can view the whole class's screen from these little thumbnails all at one time. So I can see what the class is doing uh, at any given moment. And if I want to view one student's iPad closer, I can select them and view their screen. And then I will be able to see what they are doing on their iPad as they move around. And it's in near almost real time. There's just a very slight delay. When you're finished on that, you can just hit done and return back to your classroom. Uh, another great thing you can do is you can force an application to launch on your student's iPads. So say, I want all of my students to be using Google Drive. I can hit Google Drive and it will launch on all of my kids' iPads. But let's say I want them to use Google Drive, but that's the only application I want them to use. I don't want them to be able to get out and go start playing games. I can do that by hitting this lock in app after opening. I just slide the little uh, switch over and then hit the application. The application will then launch on my student's iPad and they can do everything within the app that they need to. Uh, but then when they try to get out, by hitting the home button, they can't get anywhere. They can't get anywhere until you go up and hit unlock. Once you've done that, student can then hit the home button and then go about their business. Another good feature is if you want, say your students to go to a website, you can put it in your bookmarks and then you can open it up and it will open that website for all of your students. So then they can go to the same website that uh, you were looking at. So no more trying to do QR codes or trying to tell a website, you just send it right to them. And let's say that you're up teaching and you don't want any distractions, you don't want the kids to be messing with their iPad or anything, you can also lock the kids' iPads. We'll go to a screen like this when it's locked, and uh, no matter how many times they hit the home button, uh, they can't get out until you unlock them. And to do that, you just go up to unlock, and it will unlock them, go back to the default screen, and uh, then they can sign back in. You can also do that, You as you saw, I was doing this for the entire class, but you can go into just one individual iPad and do it. So say everybody else in the class is doing fine, but I have one student, who is uh, giving a lot of problems, I can go in and I can lock just their iPad. And I can unlock it. I can also navigate just to one. So if I just wanted to share a link with just one, I could do that. So that's really all there is to it. It's very user-friendly and uh, very intuitive.